Now let's do question 10. Um, and the owner of a small amusement park represents the number and type of vehicles that are in the parking lot on a particular Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And they use the matrix below. So we can see over here, um, 85. So for example, 85, and there's like cars. So 85 cars are in the parking lot, right? On TFS. So that's TFS, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So <laughs> I honestly don't really like that. So because I, I might forget. So I'm going to write this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just to kind of remind myself. And all right, okay, so that looks better to me already. So 12 buses in the parking lot on a Thursday. Yeah, that makes sense. 33 buses on the parking lot on a Saturday, right, in the parking lot. Okay, now he makes a second matrix to indicate the parking lot. $8 for a car, cost $822 to park a bus. Makes sense. Part eight. What does the value 33 in matrix A represent? So we've already seen, and yeah, 33. It's the number of buses in the parking lot on Saturday. And that's what it is. Yeah, so I'm just going to write it down here. It's the number of buses in parking lot on Saturday. Done. Okay, part B, I, uh, this is calculate matrix AB. So let's just write it down. Uh, AB is simply A. Right, and so that, that matrix looks a bit weird. Multiplied by B. All right. And here you can see this is a three by two matrix and this is a two by one matrix. The twos are the same, so that's fine. That means they can be multiplied. I'm gonna end up with a three by one matrix over here. So I can see First row, one column. It's going to be three by one. So one, two, three. So this first row, one column. Move it down. 85 with 8, 12 with 22. So this is going to be 85 times 8 plus 12 times 22. This will be 43, the second row, times 8 plus uh, 17 times 22. And this will be 102 times 8 plus 33 times 22. Yep, third row, one column, third row, one column, first column. Okay, key off then the calculator, and then what you get is simply 944-718-1542. Done. Uh, now, they say what is represented. So that makes sense because these are all real life scenarios, and if you don't make sense of the matrix, it is it's really pointless. You don't do this. You don't just do math for for no reason. So once again, we look at the working. Uh, it's hard to find out what it means over here, but let's look at the working. Um, eighty five times eight. All right. So let's see. Eighty five times eight is basically what's eighty five. Eighty five came from here, which is okay. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Eighty five cars multiplied by eight. Oh, multiplied by the. Okay, how much? It, cost to park a car. So this is total amount of money from the cars. Plus 12 times 22 is 12. It's the number of buses on a Thursday times the amount that it co costs to park one bus. So there's a total amount of money from the buses. So this is the amount of money coming in from the cars, the amount of money coming in from the buses add together. And this is all for 85 and 12. 85 and 12 is all for Thursday. So this is the amount of money, right, collected on a Thursday, and this is the amount of money collected on the Friday. This is the amount of money collected on the Saturday. So we can say this is the total, the elements. Um, what they mean is they are the total amount of money collected um, on each of the days. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, respectively. So it's really the same format. It's what it means and on each of the days, right? And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, respectively. So it just tells me each one takes, like Thursday takes one and Friday takes one, Saturday takes the last one. Okay. 
All right, part C, given that matrix C is 1.10 times that, I'll uh, calculate C. Okay, I'm just going to do it here. C is this. So this is pretty straightforward. It's a number. We just multiply it in. So this is 8 times 1.10. And this is 22 times 1.10. And this simply gives me 8.8 .8 and 24.2. And then part this i and double i. Uh, what is represented by the elements in C? Okay, um, let's see. Well, it doesn't really say give me any context, but you can think of it. When you multiply by 1.1, basically you're making it from 100%, which is why it originally was, you're making it 110%. So, so basically, you're increasing the cost. So you can just say it's the, it stands for the increase pricing on parking cost for each of the vehicles. See, each, and I'm using that phrasing again, of the vehicles, car and bus, respectively. 